here, love. Did you have a nice time? Yeah, I went for a drink with Chef after work. Some of stories, it does make me laugh. <laughs> I didn't think that Paul was your type. Not Paul. Andy the Chef. Hi, Benny, how are you? Fine, thanks. Do you want a cup of tea? Um, no, no thanks. I think I'll just go up and get in here in the night. I'll see you in the morning. And Marie, uh, what will you wear, your black suit? Well, actually, I'm not going tomorrow. I'm not very good at you know, but no disrespect to Diane. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night, love. Bye. Oh, no, I can't seem to settle tonight. I think I'll uh, just go down and get a drink before bed. Well, by yourself. You want to come? No, I don't. You want to come for a drink, Benny? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that party at Barbara Roberts' house? That Monument Road. Which one was that? It was that girl from King T. She had a Saturday job in Woolies. Oh, ever. Hmm. Ever. Yeah. You and your mate told me you went to Edgebats tonight. I remember that. Yeah, you did. You believe you. Why not? You're not clever enough for it, fast enough. <laughs> you were a proper mod. I thought you were really hard. I was. No, you I wasn't. Weren't. I wasn't. Just taken in by the winkle pickers and the lambretta. <laughs> <laughs> and do you remember how we used to have to say goodnight round the corner? His mum used to keep watching in the window. Mm. <laughs> 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 how much is it? Well, yeah, never mind. Go oh. on, how much? That's nah, worth every penny. How much have you got there? Thank you, mind your hands. How did you get all that from? You mind your business and I'll mind mine. I'll tell you one thing, she didn't come out of the shop till. <laughs> what that toast? That I'll be there, thank you. Benny, are you going to eat that breakfast or not? You can't go to work without any breakfast. I'm not going to work. Because my, my stomach, it's all funny. Do you know, I'm really worried about him. I think we should get the doctor in. No, no, don't get the doctor. I'm going to be all right. Listen, son, is it the funeral that's making your tummy hurt? Look, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Everybody will understand if you don't want to go. I, I've got to go. Of course, you've got to go. We're all going to go, aren't we, to the funeral? I tell you what, you needn't go to work, all right? You go and have a nice hot bath. Mrs. M will find a clean shirt for you. Mm -hmm. I'll get a bit press your suit. You're really going to look good. Should, should, should I wash my hair? I think you should. Yeah. Keep it tasteful. That's great, that is, coming from her. It's a very solemn occasion, a funeral routine. She just means don't be frivolous. I don't see that ham sandwiches are any less frivolous than canopies of olive oil. Oh, Lord. I've got to get an ad in for the Shakespeare's birthday weekend by tea time. I thought we'd already done that. Mrs. Chance didn't like it. Hmm. Well, I must be on my way. Oh, cheerio. I, uh, I hope it goes off all right. Yes. I don't see how it can not go off all right, really, do you? I mean, not unless there was a power cut or someone stole the body. Paul, will you stop being so literal? What on earth am I going to say? Tell him what he got up to with the other staff then. Oh, what about Benny? I think he's going with Sid and Mrs. Mitchell. Uh, if Mr. Beatmore calls from the round table, I'll tell him I'll call back tomorrow. Yeah, I hope everything goes all right. You can come if you want to. No. All right. Is everybody ready then?
Diane. We'll miss her. Crossroads won't be the same without her. It's tragic to lose somebody like that. She was so full of life. And at her age... She was in the forties, wasn't she? She was 18 months younger than me. Mrs. Freeman's going to be very upset she wasn't here. I can't understand why Kath and Stephen aren't here. Oh, I am sorry that Dad was out in Spain. It's all right. After all, he hardly knew her. He liked her, though. And she was good at her job, too. Uh, what about her husband? Didn't she have one somewhere? Husbands. All over the place. They're all just too busy to come to the funeral. She was divorced. I'm sorry we're late. Hello. Where, where are the flowers? Outside, Hello, sir. Oh, no, sorry, we're a bit late. Could we get the car started? And then when we did, we got that roundabout, you know, by the motorway. You couldn't go. Well, that roundabout's always the same. You might as well take the Stratford Road. There's a lot of people, aren't there? They're not all for Diane. Somebody else died, too. They'll be ready in about five minutes. I've cracked it. I finished my ad. Oh, it's the Jake Breakfast, does not it? Yes, can you find the Gazette for me and tell them we want a small display? Hmm. An eighth of a page? Don't do that, right? Um, has Mrs. Chimes okayed it? Well, she can't do, can she? She's not here. And it's got to be in by this afternoon. We don't look at it like that, Emily. It'll be all right. Celebrate Shakespeare's birthday with a weekend at the Crossroads Motel, set in its own acres of parkland in the heart of Shakespeare country. Well, how many acres are there? Well, there must be at least two. Hmm. Visit Stratford on Avon, home of the immortal bard, take in a play at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre, and enjoy the special Shakespeare dinner and Sunday, la Sunday lunch. Well, you're going to have problems with Paul and Miss Lancaster. And that'll make a change. <laughs> <laughs> All luxury chalets with their own colour TV and private bathroom. Well, wow, that's very good. I'll phone it through for you. Thanks. Shakespeare's birthday. It's always something. How old would he have been anyway? 423. It didn't seem frightfully special, so I left it out. believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in your Son, Jesus Christ. Right. All right. Can you just send us an invoice for that, then? Thanks. Bye-bye. There you are. It's all done. Thank goodness for that. It took me all week to draft that. Well, it's a really good ad, sir. I certainly got a wee bit work, Charlie. Oh, do you think so? Someone's in the kitchen, Rota. It's in the staff room, isn't it? No. Um, I think it might be in Mrs. Chance's office. I'll get it. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Have you got the food ready yet? We're going to be back soon. I know it's all done. Except for the hot walnut and herb loaves, and very nice it is too. I've even made some ham sandwiches for Debbie. <laughs> Diane was a very special person. And those of us who were privileged to know her will find her lost very hard to bear. She was a kind, generous, and loving woman who always had time for other people and their problems, no matter how busy she was. She was a good and loyal friend to her workmates. And above all, she was a wonderful wife to Christopher and a caring and devoted mother to Nicholas. As Diane's faith gave her strength and solace throughout her life, so let our faith help us now in this hour of darkness and love. Now, let us all stand and sing, The Lord is my shepherd.
to enjoy it, but it was just dreadful. Where did she get all that rubbish from? Right, I wanted to be a good wife to Christopher. Well, perhaps that's why they asked all those questions about her family. It isn't as if she didn't want to be a good wife. No, I know, I know. She didn't want Nicky to go off to America with Fred Blackburn. And the coffin went through this. Yeah, I know. Truck. Come on. Well, glad that's over anyway. Yes, so am I. Uh, you'll come back to Crossroads, won't you? Yeah. I'll bring Benny back if you like. Yes, do that. I mean, he ought to be with us. I mean, after all, he really is chief mourner. This is all, Mr. Darby. This is what I got for Miss Diane. It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely, Benny. Right, she'd like it, wouldn't she? Because it's got the, the day for Diane. Yes, of course. Uh, I see your father sent a wreath. That was very generous of you. Everybody at the motel did, but I, I sent a special one. That, that's mine. Oh, very nice. Oh, God, it's cold. Do you know what time the cars are coming to take us back? Yep, yep, in about five minutes' time, I should think. Oh, wouldn't matter if we could wait in there. There's another party in there now. Yes, well, they're very busy, aren't they? I expect it's always like that. 500 quid a time. God. I'd always reckon there must be calling it in. Darby, what happens to all the flowers? Oh, they die and they just throw them away. You know when the coffee went through that curtain thing? Where's it go? It just goes out the back. Then what happens? Look, Diane has gone. Now, nothing we can do will ever bring her back. She's gone. Let's just go and check if the cars are ready. You are coming back to the motel, aren't you? Yeah, I, I'll go with sick. Because he brought me in. Don't want to be left by yourself, does he? Oh, this herb bread is delicious. Thank you very much. Oh, well, we tried to please. Mm. I made some sandwiches for the less discerning palate. You mean me, you cheeky thing? Oh, it's awful, really awful. I mean, he, they rattled through in about ten minutes. And he made this speech about what a wonderful person I was, and never even met her. I mean, he knew nothing about her. Got it all wrong. Yeah, but she was a wonderful person. I thought she was ever so nice. It was just. Oh, I think funerals sort of get to me. Yeah, me too. I hate them. Oh, Mr. B, it's more cold. He said he would phone you back later. Oh, thank you. Mm. And Mrs. Freeman phoned as well. Nicola, from Italy. Oh, what did she say? Well, I explained to her all about Diane. It was quite a shock to her. Mm, yes, it must have done. I'd better go and give her a ring. Uh, did she leave a number? Uh, no, she didn't. But, well, it came as such a shock to her. Some cultures still have sky burials. Oh, I wouldn't fancy that. Or being buried in the ground. Mm. Like the way the Indians do it, you know, a big funeral pile with lots of flowers and then scattered in the Ganges. Well, I'd like to be buried in Aldershot, and if they can't do that, I'd like to be buried at sea. Oh, I thought you had to be a sailor for that. Where's Benny? I don't know, he's round somewhere. Came back with the chances, didn't he? Well, I haven't seen him. Sir Darby, you've seen Benny? No, not since the crematorium. I, I thought he was coming back with you. No, he came back with the chances and that lot. Oh, Sid, you haven't left him there. How could you? Oh, I don't think we've left anybody behind. So where is he then? 